So Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury is going ahead on Saturday, December 18th at Tampa Bay, Florida on Showtime pay-per-view. But there's been a lot of talk lately about the contracts that Jake Paul is putting forward. Allegedly, he's given his opponents contracts saying he's not allowed to be knocked out. Oh, you would beat that guy's ass. No, like, I would really, really... But here's I the thing. So even now... Honestly, I swear to God in my life, I stopped Jake Paul in the four rounds. He's so bad. Tyra Woodley, from when I heard... Had a con in the contract that he's not allowed to jog, knock, knock out Jake. Oh, get out of here. That's ridiculous. I swear on anything. On. That's why when he was against the ropes, I swear. Come on. Yeah, that's why when he was against the ropes, he didn't hit him. Okay. So I'm telling you right now, it was in his contract where he said, I'm, you're not allowed to knock him out. He's become such a big name in the world of combat. So that was Dylan Danis, a possible opponent at one point for Jake Paul. He's Conor McGregor's sparring partner, and he was going to fight him. He was saying in a Tyrone Woodley fight, which was Jake Paul's previous opponent, he wasn't allowed to knock him out. Of course, these rumours are coming from a guy that doesn't like Jake Paul, so we don't know if they're actually true. But one thing that is true is Jake Paul does put weird things in the contract on these fights. It's been revealed that it's actually true that Fury must change his surname if he loses the battle of the social media stars. With his dad John revealing there are a number of awkward stipulations. The 57 year old told PT Sport Paul's team are being awkward. The contract has been bizarre. If I was going to go through what they put in the contract we'd be here all day. I've said yes 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 to everything. Do what you gotta do because I know Jake Paul can't beat Tommy no matter what he does. Fury 22 will pocket 423k bonus if he gets the better of the problem child. Although he'll legally be obligated to change his name to Tommy Fumbles if he loses. But Tommy knows he's up against a stack deck but he should still beat Jake Paul at a canter. And if he can't, there's no way, for, no way in the boxing world for him. It's make or break for both men. But it'll hit Tommy harder because Tommy's supposed to be a professional boxer. You know, and like I say, Tommy will train hard. He'll do what he's got to do. But has Tommy got the skill to beat him? Yes. Has he got the power to knock him out? Yes. All it is with Tommy is young. Can he handle a big occasion on the night? There is a lot of pressure on Tommy and hardly any on Jake Paul. If he loses, he could just say he's not a professional boxer. But if Tommy loses, it's the embarrassment of changing his name. The contract says, however, if Paul is declared the winner of the bout, Fury hereby agrees to commence within 30 days of the conclusion of the bout an application process with the Royal Courts of Justice in the United Kingdom to obtain a depot legally change his name to Tommy Fumbles. Change within 24 hours of the bout all of his social media accounts to reflect the name Tommy Fumbles. Immediately after the bout, utilise the name of Tommy Fumbles in all forms of media. Who do you guys think wins this fight? Make sure you comment below now. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe with that notification bell included. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace out.